How often have you just used the cutting tool that was there? That's reality. But the fact is, however, in these cases, you could be losing productivity because you're not using the correct tool. There are many different milling concepts in the market today, and each of these are designed to perform specific tasks. In this episode, we'll discuss the effect that a cutter with a 90 degree lead angle has on the milling process. The lead angle of your cutter has a dramatic effect on not only the chip that you generate, but also the cutting forces in both the axial and the radial direction. And all of this can affect your overall productivity. A square shoulder cutter produces the majority of its cutting forces in the radial direction, making this design best suited for not only generating a square shoulder, but machining components where vibration could be an issue. With a square shoulder cutter, you get no chip thinning effect. The programmed feed rate per tooth is exactly equal to the actual chip thickness. In summary, a square shoulder milling cutter is a smart choice for components with thin surfaces, in cases where you have unstable fixturing, machines having weak spindles, and of course, when you need to produce a 90 degree shoulder. For more smart tips, contact one of our specialists or visit us at the Sandvik Cormont website.